Hi everyone, today I am going to be showing you how to carve up a golf ball. Now I've been doing a lot of these golf balls from carving up little dudes like this, to making more wood spirit like, to making Christmas ornaments out of them. I have been, I have done multiple ones. These are only a few that I have done here, right here. But today I'm going to be showing you how to carve up one of these golf balls. Okay, the first thing you do is you grab a pencil or oops, sorry, or a marker and you draw the center line of the golf ball. So if I'm going to look at it like this, I'm going to draw a center line. Like that. I don't know if that's light enough. You can see a little bit. Might be a little bit too light for the camera. But you draw a center line. After that, you draw the nose and the eyebrows. So you look at it, go about, that looks about good for eyebrows. You can always adjust it if you want. Make sure it's level, not crooked like I did. There you go. You got your face and you got your nose in. Eyebrows, nose. Next thing you need to do is the mustache. So, you start about the edge of the nose. We're going to do a very basic one. Pretty much the same one I did on here. Just going to be a little bit easier to see because it's not completely black. So, you go down like this. And you do the same thing off for the other side. All right. Now you got the basic, uh, the outside edge of the beard in. Now you have to do the separation part for the inside. So you do is you go to the center line, make a little V. Now you can leave it there if you want, but you can also fill it in all the way down. There you go. Got a very basic mustache. Come on there. So there you go. Now you gotta dry it on. Next thing you need to do is to carve it. Before you carve, make sure your carving knife is nice and sharp, but also make sure you have a carving glove on. Because you don't want it to slip and cut you. It's not fun. So, when you start with your carving, I like to start with the nose and the eyebrow. So what you do is you do a stop cut for the eyebrows. So what you do is you take your knife, Go right to the corner where the nose and the eyes meet. And then you press in. Like so. Okay, once you do that, you go to the side and you do the same thing. Press in right to the where corner is, where the last one was. You do the stop cut and press in. There you go. Now, the next step you want to do is to press upward. Dig into the cough ball and press upward. There it goes. And there you go. Now you're gonna, I'm gonna finish this up, but you're gonna do this same thing over here that, you, that I did over here, over here. All right, once you finish that, like I did here, the next thing you need to do is take your knife and go to the base of the nose where it goes downward into the mustache. So right here. What you do is you take your knife Go right on the line and press inward. And you follow the line all the way to the tip of the nose. And you repeat on the same side, other side, excuse me. All right. Okay, once you do that, what you do next is you go to the bottom where the mustache is and you press upward. You create a stop cut. There you go. See a little gap right there? Okay, you're gonna do that. You're gonna deepen it to create the base of the nose. Okay. 
There you go. Now you're going to keep doing that to how deep you want the nose. I'll pick out you want it. And I'll come back to you when I finish. So the next step you need to do is take your marker and fill in where you've carved out the mustache. Just the little gaps over here. And there you go. Okay, once you do that, tap off the marker. And now you're going to carve out the mustache. So it's very simple. What you do is you go to where the nose and the mustache meet. You press inward. And you follow the line all the way to the edge of the golf ball. Okay, once you finish doing that, what you do is you take your knife, go above where the mustache was, and you press downward into a stop cut again. Okay. Put the little gap in there. So what you're going to do is you're going to do that all the way to the side of the mustache, like this. Alright, there you go. You got the outside edge of the mustache done. Now what you did over here, you're going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, once you finish that on both sides, what you're gonna do is pretty much the same thing for the inside of the mustache. You're gonna go to the corner, right to the where it comes to a point. And you're gonna go press inward. And you're gonna do the same thing what you did on the outside. Go all the way to that. Side. There you go. Once you do that, Again, you're going to do a stop cut. So go to the outside edge. Oops, sorry. Go to the outside edge. And press in. There you go. Okay, now what you did over here, you're going to re replicate it on the other side. Right here. All right. Once you finish that, you're gonna have like a little V gap right here. And you're gonna have. Let's see if it gets good to you. You're gonna have this. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the circle for the face. Now this part is all details. You can literally leave it right here, round off, round everything off, which I'll show you later. But I'm going to put in some detail off cam, and I'll come back to you when I'm done with it. Right, the last thing I would say about finishing things up is called rounding, or that's why I call it at least. And that's taking your knife, and right now your nose is pretty rigid, it's pretty square. So is your mustache, and I did the outside of the head. And it's all square and has a little bit of a ledge. Well, that doesn't look good, so what do you do? Take your knife. And take your golf ball and go to the nose. You go at an angle and you press upwards to the knot, to the forehead. Like that. And what it will do, it will angle things over and it will round it off. So you do that for both sides of the nose. So you do it for this side, that side, you'll round it everything off that includes beard uh stop the head if you did that even into the eyebrows now if you come to the point like right now that's a little too shallow that's okay all you need to do is press in follow the line of the nose again and dig it out a little bit more and there you go you're good so that's what you do i'll come with you come to you back come back to you after I'm done. So that is how you carve a golf ball. I did a little bit of detail off cam, carved into the, carved the hairs in, the, in the back of the head and the mustache. But yeah, that is how you do it. Hope you enjoyed.